D Rock Irish is asking. I don't know if you heard this comment from Dabo Sweeney during Clemson spring game that he thinks that college football teams should be playing a spring game. He says, you know, from the very lowest level of football all the way through the NFL, there are preseason games, jamborees at the high school level, the whole deal. We're the only sport or that we're the only level of this sport that doesn't have any opportunity under game-like conditions to against an opponent um, kind of work things through. And so Dabo Sweeney would like to see an August preseason game against, you know, you see it in the NFL where teams that are in pro close proximity, you know, maybe the, the Rams and the chargers get together for a week and, and practice and scrimmage uh, at a training facility. But uh, that's what Dabo is proposing. Yeah, no, I think that would be a great idea. I think, you know, even though a lot of people don't like to listen to him, Lincoln Riley was actually a proponent of that a couple of years ago as well. He mentioned, you know, the same thing. And no, I completely agree. I mean, and it's to your point, it's very valuable to understand at every level outside of the collegiate level they there's preseason scrimmages, you know, whether, you know, what, whether that looks like, if it looks like playing, um, you know, a, a lower level team or maybe a team that's in, like for Oklahoma playing, being playing Tulsa or something like that would be a, um, would be good. No, I think it's very valuable because you see, um, because you see teams to your point, Mark, that the first game of the year, they're not, you know they're not ready. There's some other things that they they've just they've just not been able to get to get ready because for so, for so many I mean you can only go go against your 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 own team so many times. So no, I think that would be great for college football just in general. Great for teams just getting ready for the first game of the year, um, and then um, you know and then like I said, great for the fan. Like who wouldn't. Who wouldn't be excited to see these games early in August, just a scrimmage of some of some sort? And you know, and I think teams would still keep it very vanilla in nature. And I mean, they're not going to sh show anything, you know, new or anything like that. But no, I think that would be such a, a value add, not only for the game, but for these individual teams as well. I hope Ryan is not a legitimate meteorologist, <laughs> as I don't care if there's a tornado on the ground. I'll be in the stadium on the twenty third. Dedication, Ryan. Appreciate that. A lot of people commenting. Once you made your uh, comment concerning Oklahoma's possible next commit, that Trey Wisner, the running back out of Texas, top 20 running back in the nation, top 50 player in the state of Texas, according to 247 Sports, is a pretty solid Oklahoma lean, according to well, Parker Thune's on there and six other Oklahoma. Well, I guess that's only one prediction. I thought it was six. I don't know what that means. Anyway, they got a bunch of numbers there yeah. that I haven't uh, sorted through. But anyway, it's a crystal ball lean from 247 Sports on Trey Wisner, the running back out of the Soto, Texas, going to OU. Yeah, he's definitely the the other one that kind of came to mind, Mark, when I was a you know when the, the the question wasn't initially posed. And I think you know that wouldn't be a surprise at all. You know, specifically the way that Demarco Murray has been able to. Uh, has been able to recruit that running back position. Um, yeah, that, that wouldn't be a surprise at all. And I've, you know, I've heard from multiple sources that he's um, a very heavy lean to Oklahoma at this point. 